Hello, hello, good evening class. Welcome. Bienvenidos chicos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Hello teacher, how are you? Fine, thank you. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome. <coughs> ¿Qué tal chicos? ¿Cómo están? Bienvenidos. Very good. My very good teacher. Excellent, Marlene. Let's see, Claudia. Welcome, Claudia. Janet, welcome. Leticia, hello, Leti. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello Lionel. Hello, hello. Okay, guys, we're going to start with our session for today. And uh, well, we have a new topic for today and we're also um, checking some previous knowledge about the last activities. Um, so right now we're going to start with this vocabulary, analyze the vocabulary with the pictures. So look at this, we have a parking lot, parking lot, everybody is observing that. Ya todos estamos viendo ahí las pictures. With the vocabulary, guys? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, teacher. Awesome. So, um, yeah, we're going to play in a moment, but not yet. So let's see. Parking lot. So listen up and repeat that with me. Parking lot. Parking, parking lot. lot. Parking lot. So what is a parking lot? Any idea? Picture one, two, three, four, five. So what's Parqueo. a parking lot? Any idea? Four. Uh, <laughs> probably this one right so no. that's a parking lot el parqueo right so that's a parking lot el uh -huh, el estacionamiento. nearby 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 nearby, nearby. nearby. so it means nearby. close cerca so that's nearby so there is a bookstore nearby hay una bookstore cerca nearby holidays holidays Holidays. 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 Okay. Holidays. Smile. Holidays. Smile. 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 Let's smile. see. Everybody, smile, please. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Smile. 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 Me veo sonriendo. ¿Qué les pasa? <laughs> okay, nice. Let's see. So, what's going on? It's Friday. We're going to finish on Monday. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. Smile. Message. 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 Parking lot. Parking lot. Parking lot. Nearby. 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 Holidays. Holidays. Smile. Smile. Message. 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 I got a message. 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 Okay, so in the previous class, we talked about the reason that I write. So let's try to fill in that uh, with some examples. These sentences with the correct phrase. There is or there are. In a quantifier. <laughs> Recuerden que utilizamos there is la expresión, la frase there is, there are, más un quantifier para decir cierta cantidad, no específica. Podríamos decir some, uh, no, this we have no, some. ¿Cuáles serán los otros que estudiamos el día de ayer? We have some. Ok, este no lo estudiamos ahí. Any. Any, ok. Any other. Two. Listo ahí. M. Many. 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 Another clue. So many. Guess. Make a guess. Much. 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 
Club. Lo vimos al final, but not, we didn't explain that too much. A uh, few. 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 Okay. Few. A little. A few. A little. 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 Nos queda alguno. Um, a lot of, a lot of uh -huh. a lot of. yeah we didn't study this one but um let's see any other i think just them right okay so some what's the meaning for some <coughs> algunos algo, o algunos uh -huh. algo algunos algunas no means Zero quantity. Mira, no significa cero cantidad. Cero cantidad. Sí, la palabra no también funciona como Any. un cuantificador para indicar cero cantidad. Any. Any. Nada. Nada. Ninguno. Ok, nada. Nada, nada. Many. Bueno, aquí Mucho. varía, aquí varía un poquito el significado. Puede ser ningún, nada. Ningún. Y lo utilizamos con questions en negative sentences, right? Yes. Sí, lo utilizamos así, chicos. Any questions in negative sentences? Yes. Yes, yes. right? Many yes. with countable nouns, right? Much uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns. Perfect. Let's see. Few Un poco. Ok, un poco. Poco, let's say. Poco. Countable or uncountable? Mm. Countable. 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 And a few, it's un poco. And it's countable. Mira, veamos, repetimos acá. Some se puede utilizar con, uh, with affirmative and negative sentences, right? Affirmative and negatives. Uh, no, let's say, for example, um, okay. Pero. Yeah, you express zero quantity. Any questions and negative sentences? Many countable nouns, much uncountable nouns. Few countable nouns to countable nouns. Okay. And how about little? So it's the same meaning. Countable or uncountable? Countable. Uncountable. Uncountable. In a little. Poco again. Un poco. También el mismo significado, solamente que you use that with uncountable nouns. And a lot of, bastante, okay. that means bastante. So there are a lot of uh, Burger Kings in San Salvador, bastantes. So it can be used with countable or uncountable. Y ahí puede ser contable e incontable, sustantivo que sigue. Okay, um, so now let's check the following examples. In here, we only have to add there is or there are in a quantifier. The quantifier, let's see, let's check sentence number one. So what do you think? Marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There is. Okay, and do you remember any other quantifier? A and N. También teníamos el quantifier un o una. So remember, we have to add the uh, there is and there are plus the quantifier. Estamos poner acá el there is más el quantifier también. So what would you write here? What is there is okay. There is a marketing presentation. A marketing presentation. Uh huh. Across the street. In the morning. In the morning. Okay. Sentence number two. So what do you think? Sentence two. 
business workshops down the street? There are some. Yes, there are. There are some. Some, mm -hmm, some business books. workshops down the street. Business workshop down the street. Okay, number three. Recruitment centers. They are. Okay. No. There are. Quantifier. No. no, right? Excellent. So there are no recruitment centers around my village. Zero. Zero recruitment centers. Uh, four. There is no. So, there is. Look at this. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. About number five. Banks behind the factory are I work. There are okay, so let's add a quantifier. Let's add a quantifier. There are no, there are some, there are a few. There are some. Okay, there are, there are some. some. Okay. There are some banks behind the factory I work. And the last one, number one again. <laughs> and a building around the corner. There is. There is. Quantifier. Ah. Ah. Okay. Ah or an. There is an Aranza. Excellent. Yes, there is an Aranza building around the corner. Perfect. So just to check these. Um, okay, so let me see. We have a tax. No se escucha, chicos. Hola, hola. Por la interferencia, teacher. Por la interferencia. Permítame. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so just let's check this uh, part in here. Here we have the following information, just to check the strategy of this. Solamente y verificar estos dos puntos. ¿Cuándo utilizamos few, a few, y little, y a little? Vamos a ver. Few, poco, with countable nouns. A few, with countable nouns too. Recuerden que acá es few y a few son con sustantivos contables. Es decir, todo lo que usted puede contar, excepto líquidos, con ideas. Um, in little, in a little, you can use that with uncountable. Example. So let's write an example. A few books. Tengo. I have a few books. Mm -hmm. Tengo unos pocos libros. I have a few books. Quiere decir que tengo cierta cantidad, probablemente unos... Eh, dos, tres, eh, bueno, tres, más o menos. Y, well, that will be, ok, lo vamos a poner acá abajo. I can write with that. Vamos a compartir la pizarra. Mm -hmm. I have a few books. Tengo uno. ¿Cuántos libros? So probably three or four. I have few books. Probably one or two or probably none. 
Tal vez tiene un libro que leyó allá en bachillerato cuando le dijeron que tenía que leerlo para fin de año. <laughs> okay, and the other one is um, little, right? I have little time. ¿Qué opinan de ese ejemplo? I have little time. Little or little. Yo tengo poco tiempo. Tengo poco tiempo. So speak, please. One minute. Let's see, probably one minute, right? So you have one minute to present your idea or to tell me what you have, what you want to say. Solamente tiene un minuto. ¿Cuánto tiempo pues lo estamos categorizando? Podría ser. If you are asked to do something um, within an hour, probablemente si usted le dicen que realice algo, but you have little time to do that. Entonces puede depender el rango, ¿verdad? Yo solamente les estoy dando un ejemplo para que comprendamos ahí la diferencia de que little time significa casi nada. And if you say I have a little time, probablemente tenemos un poquito más de tiempo. Let's say five minutes. Okay, is the idea clear, clear guys? Yes. Okay, awesome. And don't forget that. Few and a few with countable nouns. Recuerden ahí, contables. Uncountables. Uncountables. Okay. So now let's continue. So now let's go back to the presentation. And so here I have a picture for you. You see, there is, and there are, I want you to give me. Uh, well, I'm going to ask you some questions. So you pay attention to that, okay? Uh, is there any radio in the bathroom? Is there any radio? Yes, no? Uh, yes. Yes, in there the is, right? In the bathroom. Okay. In the bathroom. Uh, Where is the radio? Where is the radio? The radio is on the type. Is this a table? Out on the desk. It's a shelf. Shelf. Um, let's see. Next question. Is there any lamp in the bedroom? Lamp, lamp. Lamp, yes. yes. Is there any lamp? Yes. Where is yes. the lamp? There he is. The lamp is the behind next to the table. No. I'll say on the table. On the table. On the table. How about a computer? Is there any computer? Let's see, Claudia. Yes. Claudia. Yes. Bed. Okay, where is that computer? On the bed. On the bed. Okay, on that the computer bed. is on the bed. How about a, a teddy bear? Is there any teddy, teddy bear? Sure, sure. Okay, it's on the swivel chair. Swivel. Swivel chair. How about some shoes? I have seen some shoes. Where are the shoes? Where are the shoes? The I see. The shoes are on the sofa. They're on the sofa. Okay. And I've also seen a camera. So can you tell me where is the camera? A camera, a camera. Yes, there is a camera. Yes, the I, I, down the bed. Okay, down the bed, below the bed, on the floor. <laughs> okay, okay, nice. And I've also seen, let's see, a juice, a bottle of juice. I found that. 
the juice and the... Where is the juice? Hey, it's on the mesa de noche. <laughs> no. Bedside table? Mm. No. Cabinet? Como el closet, algo así. The closet, a cabinet. I'll say a cabinet. How about, let's see, a jacket. I've seen a jacket. Mm. Where is the jacket? In, in, uh, uh, Behind in, the, the, in, the, in the box. Mm -hmm. The diamond. A yellow jacket. Uh, in, the, in the wall. On the wall? On the wall. On the wall. Okay, nice. So I want you to practice that with your classmates. I'm going to give you one minute and uh, try to practice that with them. Let's see. Well. We're going to create the breakout rooms and try to give the descriptions to your classmates. So use these questions. Is there any, uh, let's say, uh, any shoe, any chair, any t-shirt, any door, any chips? Well, are there any chips or any bag or, yeah, of chips in the bedroom? Where, uh, where is that object? So bedroom, that's, I'm going to check that spelling. Okay. So try to give the description. Ask and answer the questions. Ask and answer the questions. So join the breakout rooms. Que me avisan ahí quién se me quedó ahí sin invitación. Para verla nuevamente. Sarita. Fátima, hello, hello. Como se dice, 
¿cómo se dice? Este, un gancho para colgar o guardarropa. Hola, hola, Fátima. Dale, puede sí. contestar. Va a decir que solo tenemos que preguntar, ¿verdad? Vas a la imagen, ¿verdad? Y nos contestamos. Ajá. Sí, este, pueden compartir la imagen. Ah, va. ¿La, la, ¿La tienen? Sí. La voy a subir al grupo para compartir. Ahí está bien, me gusta el... Ahí está el, la imagen. Uh -huh. Digamos, la otra podría ser Is there any bear in the, in the bedroom? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Uh -huh. No sé. Yeah. Is there any poster in the bedroom? Perdón. Is there any poster in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Yes, there is one. Sí. Ahí, ahí compartí en el, en el, en el. Hola. Hola, hola. Se me Ajá, quedó pegado esto. Déjame ver si puedo compartirle la pantalla. No, no me sale. Es que se ha quedado como, está como bien lento. Sí, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero ya vio la imagen en el grupo de WhatsApp. Es que a mí no me ha caído, fíjense. Ya le ha llegado. No. Porque ahí la puso ya la teacher, eh, la que estábamos viendo, los ejemplos. Ahí Ajá. está, is there any radio in the bedroom? Eh, is there any lamp, dijo el segundo. Creo que computadora el otro. Y son así porque... Hello, hello, ladies. ¿Cómo vamos, chicas? Hola. Aquí estamos en dilema. ¿Por qué? What happened? Con, con los chips, eh, la pregunta sería, ¿Is there any chips? ¿O is there any a chips? Ok, nice. 
Nice question. I see. I see. Is there any bag of chips? See any bag? Or you can say, are there some chips? Ah, it's para bolsa de chips. Uh -huh. No, no it's para it's para papas, chips. are there um, some chips? Podríamos también decir, are there some chips? Uh -huh. Ok. Ah, porque a nosotros a todos le vamos poniendo any. Any, ajá. Any, any. Pues, ajá, puede ser, o no. Ahí ustedes pueden oh. eh, combinarlo, solamente que ahí por la bolsita, una, un paquete de, o una bolsa de chips. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Mm, o pues podríamos sí. decir también, are there some snacks? Snacks. Ahí, la mm, uh -huh. Sí. Ok. Are there... Um, El, nosotros hemos puesto como drywall, drywall, drawer, ajá, drawer, ajá, de drawer. gavetero, de gavetero, uh -huh. drawer, ajá, uh -huh. Uh -huh. pues sí. Okay, sí Ok, perfect. So let's go back. Vamos a regresar entonces. Ok. okay. Uy. Bueno, y nos vemos. Bueno. <ríe> bye, bye. <ríe> Okay, so let's continue. Let's see. Did you get some questions? So I'm going to ask the first team. Um, let's see. It's Fat. It's Fatima. You hear Fatima? Yes. Okay. Awesome. Fatima, you were working with Janet, right? Yes. Ah, okay. So, what are the questions that you created and answered? Is the ask the okay? Ask Janet. Hola, casi no le escucho. Okay, and you, Fatima? That's it. Where is the photo? Hello, hola, hola. Yes, I'm having trouble today. Let's see. Oh, yeah, can you repeat the questions? Fatima, repeat the questions. Where is the photo? Okay, where is the photo, Janet? Photo where? Is, is on the, the table. On the shelf. Okay, so that is a shelf. Uh, shelf. 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 On the shelf. Shelf. Photo. Shelf. 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 Is the que me dijo? Es que se le escucha entrecortado. Blue t-shirt. Blue t-shirt. Blue t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Is there is a t-shirt? No yes. Sé cómo es. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Eh... That's it. Mm -hmm. Yes, there is. Recuerden que son respuestas cortas. Is there a blue t-shirt in the bedroom? Yes, there is. Y después puede decir dónde está ubicada. Uh, where is the t-shirt? ¿A dónde está? It's on the floor. It's on the floor. No sé cómo se dice detrás de la puerta. 
Mm, behind. Behind the door. Mm -hmm. Behind. Behind, behind the door. The door. Yeah. Behind the door. Behind the door. Okay. Thank you. Well, it's yeah, kind of. Let's see. Um. Thank you, ladies. Uh, let's see questions. Um. Claudia. And Wilbur. So what do you have, guys? Eh, no teníamos la captura de la pantalla, teacher. Eh, no, no logramos formular ninguna pregunta. Pero ahorita se la puedo, se la puedo hacer. Uh, is there in the backpack? Okay, is there any? In the backpack. Uh, backpack. Is there yes. any backpack? Yes, there is. Where is the backpack? Mm -hmm. Under the table. Under the table. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome, guys. Very good. Let's see. Um, Marlene, what do you have, Marlene? I'm here, teacher. With Herson. Okay. Herson. Where is the watch? Watch. Watch. I haven't seen the watch. <laughs> Let's see where. Ah, <laughs> so you mean um clock? Oh. A clock. Uh -huh. a, a clock. clock. Yes, a clock. Oh. Where is a clock? Uh, what is uh, uh, a, a clock? Uh, clock. Uh, Where is the clock? Uh, the clock is fine. Is on the shelf. Excellent. The clock is on the shelf. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Uh, well, we're going to continue, guys. The clock is on the shelf. So this is a clock, and the other one that you use. Uh, it's a watch. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, ladies. So let's continue. Um, we're going to check a conversation right now. We're two uh, working pairs again, and you're going to use there is and there are four existing places near your workplace. If you um, well, if you can, you can add some questions if you want to. So now let's check the conversation. You see, there is and there are plus one defiers. So we have, hello, Juanito, where do you work? So this is just an example. You have to uh, say your names. Acá lo vamos a modificar con su nombre. I work at, and you have to give me the location of your company. The number plus the street will be. So I work at 55, let's say, Panamericana Street, or 41 Panamericana Street, and you? I work at 25 uh, Juan Pablo Segundo Street, okay? Where is your company located at? Well, this is oh, where do you yeah. work? Uh -huh. And in here you say the, co the company's location. So in this case, it could also be um, the name of that place. I work at Super Repuestos, could be. I work at, let's say Walmart. And where is your company located at? Entonces, acá sería lo opuesto. Acá sería el nombre del lugar y acá la ubicación. Um, mm -hmm. It's located at, and you start saying the address, at 55 Panamericana Street. And well, the second question, it's in the same line. Where is your company located at? It's located at. Entonces, ahí se regresa la misma pregunta a la otra persona. Is there any restaurant near your workplace? No, there isn't any. Yes, there is. There is one. Or yes, there is. There is, a, let's say, Los Tres Cerditos restaurant. Are there some stores near your company? Yes, there are. For example, Dollar City, uh, let's say, La Vaca Brava. No, <laughs> no that's not a restaurant. <laughs> Something about food. Um, uh, let's say MD could be another one, uh, Hash Puppies, 
I don't know. So you start mentioning some stores. Okay, so now let's practice. Hello, where do you work? Hello, Hello where do, where you, do work? you work? Hello, where do you work? Hello, Hello, where do you work? Hello, where do you work? Hello, where, where do, you do you work? I work at I work, work at, at Walmart. Walmart. And you? Walmart. Walmart. And you? I work at I work at, at, at. at. Mm -hmm. And you at the place. Where is your company located at? Where is, Where is your company, company located, located at? at? It is located at. It's located it at. Located at. at located, located, located. 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 Located at. Fifty five Pan Americana Street. Fifty five Pan Americana Street. Fifty five Pan Americana Street. 55 Pan Street. Where is your company located at? Where is your company located at? Okay, and um, let's see, it's located at? It's located, located at? Is there any restaurant near your workplace? Is there any restaurant near your workplace? No, there isn't any. No, no there isn't isn't any restaurant. Any. Or, yes, there is um a restaurant. Yes, yes there, there is, is a restaurant. restaurant. Mm -hmm. You can say name, los tres cerditos, la vaca brava, I don't know, buffalo wings. Are there some stores near your company? Clau y canela. Clau y canela, okay. Are there Are some there stores, there stores, stores, stores near your company? Company. 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 Okay. So are there some stores near your company, guys? Yes, no? So what are some of them? No stores? Probably, right? Some of them, like, um, let's say, Super no. Selectos, no. I don't know. Oh, no. yes, uh -huh. there is. Shoe stores, let's say shoe store, pet stores, bakeries, um, some shops, some other kind of shops. A bookshop, a bookstore probably could be another one. So we're going to practice that right now. Any questions? So we're in here you have to um, modify the conversation with your own information. So you modify the names, right? You're not Juanita ni Juanita. Um, so and in here, remember you are the place, the company, in here the address, the address. So remember the number plus the name of the ad, of, of that street. Okay, number, name of street. Okay, is it clear? Where do you work? Any questions work. about the activity? Any question about the activity? Where do you work? Hello, when don't work. Questions? No questions? Uh -huh. La dirección, el número más el, el nombre de la calle. Si no conocen el número, cambiemos, cambi lo podemos cambiar por on y ubicamos nada más el nombre de la calle. Nombre de la calle. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, podemos hacer eso si sí, en dado caso que no conozcan el número. Because, okay, well, okay. no, <laughs> Yo me pierdo. <laughs> okay, nah, just kidding. Okay, so now let's go uh, to the breakout rooms. And uh, well, I think we're going to have some time.
Okay. Okay. Me avisan ahí si alguien no recibió la invitación. Sara, hello Sara. Sara, ¿qué tal si apagamos la cámara? Sara, quizás podría funcionar eso. Me parece que hay problemas de conexión. Emerson, Emerson, hello Emerson, Concepción. Oscar, le enviamos la invitación nuevamente. Eh, Hola chicos. Hola, Hola teacher. Eh, no le tomamos captura. Hola. La puedo okay. compartir en el grupo. Ahorita, ahorita vamos. ¿Le chequen ahorita? Ok. Thank you. Ok, gracias, teacher. You're welcome, guys. Va a ejercer. Ok. Eh, comenzamos. Correcto. Este, pero en sí, lo que vamos eh, a hacer. Es, primero pregunta, eh, bueno, saluda primero y, y luego dice, según el diálogo ahí. Ajá. Eh, eh, como que nos preguntemos dónde trabajamos. Eh, okay. el nombre el nombre del lugar o oh, quiero ver ¿Dónde, ajá dónde trabajas y luego dice dónde está la ubicación de la compañía vaya eh, comenzamos okay. ya, eh, como, te pregunto primero Okay. Uh, hello, Herson. Uh, where do you work? Uh, I work at um, uh, Avenue. Tendría que decir la, el nombre del de la nombre de la empresa. Okay. El nombre de la empresa donde trabaja. I work at the agencia de viajes Bonillas. Bonilla. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Y ahí, me, y, ahí me devuelve, y ahí me devuelves la pregunta. Ok. I work at uh, agencia de viajes Bonilla. And you? I am work in despacho contable Martínez. Eh, where is you, your company locate, located? Ok. Is it located at Avenue, Roosevelt Avenue, in, in San Miguel. Where is your Avenue. company location at? Located okay, at? Uh, it is located is, is locate, locate at uh, in 7th Street. Es en Lourdes, Colón. Eh, ¿Is there any eh, bank near your workplace? Yeah, ahí entra dice eh, Bank 
es como que hay algún banco cerca de la agencia de viajes. Es la, ajá. Y ya te dije dónde estaba mi trabajo y, y, y continúo con el diálogo. Is there any banks near your workplace? Este Where, uh, ¿dónde, está, ¿Dónde está localizado tu compañía? ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Ahí. Ah, no, usted me pregunta a mí. ¿verdad? Ajá. No, usted me está ah, preguntando. No, yo, yo. Where Ajá. Is Sí, sí. Tercera avenida, ¿cómo sería? Tercera avenida sería Tri Avenue. 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 Y ahí dice ¿Dónde está? Lo, es, es De ahí Juanito pregunta ¿Dónde está? Sí, porque de repente se... ay, ay, yo creo que hay bien. Le podemos preguntar. Hello, ladies. Hello, hello. Okay. hello. Eh, Hola. Hola, chicas. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Ah, aquí tenemos una, 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 pequeña, una pequeña duda. Uh -huh. eh, como, estamos, como estamos entre las dos con, con Olga eh, haciendo la conversación, eh, digamos que yo soy eh, Juanita. Eh, hello, where do you work? Uh -huh. Hello, Tatiana, where, uh, where do you work? Eh, María, I work at Optic. And you? Optica. What is the name of the company? Optica? Optica, el nombre de la, de la Ah, el nombre. El nombre es Optica I Support. Ajá, entonces sería así. Eh, Con todo y el nombre. Tal sí. cual es el nombre. Ajá, el nombre de la empresa. I work at Optica. Y en la otra parte que no, no me la escuché. Y ahí, I work at. And you? Ahí le contesta a dónde trabaja también. Ah, I work at Walmart. Where is your company located at? Y después venimos preguntando por la ubicación. Uh, la ubicación sería el nombre de la calle, el número de la calle. It is located. ¿Qué, ¿Qué sería aquí? It is located at. Ajá, it is located. Uh, located. Uh, it is located at. Ajá, uh -huh, at. Let's say Santa Tecla, Santa Tecla Carretera Panamérica. Ah, ok. Entonces, acá, para ser exactos, eh, sería el número de la calle más el nombre de la calle. Solo esos dos detalles. No me acuerdo el número, <ríe> Entonces, entonces cambiamosle nada más por, eh, pongamos la preposición on, it is located on. Y el nombre de la, de la calle. Pero podríamos hacer lo siguiente. Vamos a ver. Para no dejarlo ahí tan. Santa Tecla. On. Panamericana, dice. Ajá. Ajá, ok. Podríamos también ubicar eso, eso el nombre del, del lugar donde está ubicado más el nombre de la calle. It, it is located in Santa Tecla on Panamericana Street. Podría ser, si no, eh, solamente 
Sí, no solamente el, el nombre de la calle, pero habríamos que, tendríamos que cambiar la proposición por on. Okay, uh, tecla on Panamerican Street. Uh -huh. Podría ser así. Okay. Sí, y abajo está la preguntando la dirección de la otra persona también. Ajá. Entonces sería la mía. Ajá, la de usted, Claudia. Ah. Y cómo se dice calle, por ejemplo, es calle Toluca number eh, 32 one five. ¿Cómo? El número es 3215. Uh -huh. eh, calle así se pronuncia eh, calle en inglés, calle Toluca. Sería Las Toluca. Direcciones de... Toluca Street. Solo Toluca eh, 32 one five. Yeah. Ajá, vaya. entonces sería el número primero. El número lo puede decir uno por uno. One, five, three, two. Toluca Street. Toluca. Uh -huh. Toluca Street. Toluca Street. Es donde dice supuestamente is it is local local ad. Located. Located ad. Uh -huh. Is there Is there marketing publicidad? Empresa de publicidad. Ah, veamos. No, o sea, aquí solamente, aquí solamente sería, it is located at 1532, for example, la Toluca Street. Ahí sería todo. Solo el número más el nombre de la calle. Um, lo que pasa es que no agregamos esa pregunta. Por ejemplo, podríamos... Bueno, acá arriba, con la información que tenemos arriba, si sí contestamos a dónde trabaja. Trabaja para óptica. I work at óptica. Ajá. Y después, eh, Claudia, where do you work? I work at Walmart, for example. Entonces, acá ya no es necesario volverlo a poner porque ya lo mencionamos acá arriba. Ah, ok. okay. Ajá. ¿Qué sería? No, the... Uh, no, there is no any. ¿Cómo se pronuncia ahí? Any, any. No, there isn't there is, any. No, no there isn't any. No, there isn't any. Perfect. No, there any. isn't any. Mm -hmm. Any. No, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. Isn't, isn't. Isn't any. Mm -hmm. No, there no, isn't there. any. Mm -hmm. No, no hay ninguno. Podríamos dejarlo solamente con hasta el isen y, y acá hasta el is. La respuesta corta nada más. No there isn't o yes there is. Yes there is. Uh -huh. no, son Cualquiera de las dos. Lo que pasa es que son respuestas cortas. Corta. Entonces nos hace la pregunta preguntas cortas. Is there any, uh, for example, hospital near your workplace? ¿Hay algún hospital cerca de tu trabajo? No, yes, there isn't there. any. O oh, no, there isn't. Entonces, nos podríamos no, quedar con no, there isn't, o no, there isn't any. O una respuesta afirmativa corta, yes, there is. Y ahí termina. Yes, there is. Ajá, si queremos proponer una respuesta larga, sería volver a repetir lo que ya dijimos anteriormente. Yes, there is a hospital. Lo que nos dijeron anteriormente, yes, there is a hospital near my workplace. Pero se hace bien largo. Pero en sí lo que queremos es la respuesta corta primero. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so, entonces la dejo practicar un ratito más y luego regresamos. Ok. Gracias. Como ya tenemos la... Uh -huh. Entonces así quedaría. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Did you finish? Yes. Mm, excellent. Yes, so let's finish. check that. Can you read the conversation? Just one. Rudy. Ru eh, per sí, Rudy. Uh, copy your question. And the uh, answer. No, dijo la teacher que, que, que digamos las Ah, repitamos ahorita el. Pensé que, que, que sí. 
que habíamos escrito la, eh, la conversación. ¿No era así, Tich? No, es de que, que, repase, que, que lo digamos ahorita, a ver cómo nos sale. Ah, ok, Ajá, está bien. Su información. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Hello, Rudy, where do you work? I work at Supertex and you. I work at Colegio Bautista San Salvador. Uh, where is your company located at? Is correct, teacher, located at? Located. Let's located. check. Located. Located at. Located at. It is located at um, Paramanican Street on Industrial Zone, Chalchuapa. Where is your company located at? It is located at Cuba Avenue and Cocal Avenue. Is there any bookstore near your workplace? No, there isn't any bookstore. Are there some stores near your company? Yes, there are some stores near. Entonces, eso sería todo. Ok, solamente ahí en la dirección, acá, recuerden que si van a poner solamente el nombre de la calle, tienen que modificar la profesión por ON. ON, oh. Ajá, tendría que ser ON, porque no, no le pusieron no el nombre. Ah, ok, entonces uh, sería uh -huh. Solamente eso. Sería, y, teacher, uh -huh. it's locator ON. It's located uh, on, uh -huh, on. on Cocal Avenue, on Cocal Avenue and Cuba Avenue. In Cuba Avenue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Okay. Thank you, guys. So let's go back. Okay. Okay, so let's check this video. I want to show you um, the, the pronunciation for the word located. So probably you get a better understanding of it. Located. 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 Nice. Located. So now let's hear, right? So now let's see how... Um, how you created your conversations and what information you added. So let's start with the first uh, group, the first team. Uh, we have uh, Flor and Leticia, Flor and Leticia. Okay. Okay. Hello, Flor, where do you work? I work at Optics I Support and you. I work at Pharmacy Santa Isabel. Where is your company located at? It is located at Condom Condominium Arcadas Avenue B5. Where is your company located at? It is located at San Rafael Obrajuelo, Second Avenue Sur. Is there any pharmacy near your place? No, there is not any pharmacy. Are there some optics near your company? No, there is any optical. Okay. okay, thank you, ladies. Very good job. So just check this. Um, it's located on San Rafael Obrajuelo. On, on. Uh -huh. Because you're just mentioning the street. Okay. Um, if you give uh, more specific details like the number, so you use at. Okay. Thank you, ladies. And um, let's see. Now there isn't any. Now there isn't any. 
Thank you so much, Leticia and Fleur. Very nice. So let's continue with you, Jeanette and Melissa. I think, yeah, second team, Jeanette and Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Where do you work? Uh, I work at Optica I Support. And you? I work at a clinic Ultramel. What is your company look at at? Okay. It is local at Condominio Harcada Harse. Um, where is your company local at? It, it is local at Boulevard San Bartolo, uh, number 25. Is there any restaurant near your workplace? Okay. Um, uh, yes. Uh, yes, there is. No, no, there is any. Okay, no, there isn't any. No, there isn't any. Okay, thank you so much, Melissa and Jeanette. Very nice ladies. Okay. Um, well, that was okay. And let's see, just the proposition again. Y solamente la proposición nuevamente. Se recuerden que si no tienen el número del, del lugar de la calle, pues solamente nos quedamos con on. Ok. So, and the street name. Sí, Wilbur. No, let's see. Fátima. Fátima en Nailea, I think. Fátima en Nailea. Hello, Nailea. Hello, Melinda. Where do you work? Uh, I work. I work at Alpha Store. Are you and you? And. This uh, is, is located on two avenue. Where is your company located at? It's located on Avenue Harcada Harse. Okay. Is there any restaurant near your, near your workplace? Uh, no, there is any. Uh, Okay, thank you, ladies. Let's continue with you, Wilbur. Are you ready, Wilbur? Yes, teacher. Okay, awesome. Uh, Erson, are you there? Okay. Uh, hello, Erson. Where do you work? I work at... Uh, uh, agency Travel Bonilla. And you? I work at the Dispatcho Contable Martinez. Where, where is your company located? Um, uh, uh, Roosevelt Avenue, uh, Sub uh, 111. Uh, perdón, up, up, como apartamento, 111. Uh, where, where is your company located at? It, it is located at um, 7th Street, it's, it's, is there any near your workplace? Is there any restaurant near your workplace? Yes, there is a um, pollo campestre. Okay, yes, there is one pollo campestre. Okay, nice. 
and it is located at 111. Um, you forgot the name of the street. Solamente no mencionó el número, ¿verdad? It's located at 111, and you say that name of the street y el nombre de la calle. What's the name of that street? Roosevelt. Ah, okay. Roosevelt Avenue. Roosevelt Avenue. Okay, nice. Thank you, boys. And we continue with, let's see, Claudia and Tatiana. Hello, uh, Claudia. Hello. Ah, okay. Hello. Thank you, ladies. Hello, Tatiana. Where do you work? Uh, I work at Optic Eye Support and you? Um, our varsity company? Hola. So continue with the question, where is your company located at? Okay. Entonces sería, it's located in Santa Tecla on Panamericana Street. Se me trabó la máquina. I wore up. Creo que ya respondió ella, ¿verdad? Sí, vamos acá. Uh, Tatiana, ask the question, where is your company located at? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's located in Santa Tecla on Panamerican Street. It is located up where is your um, Calle Toluca 3215. Okay, 3215. Um, okay, at 3215 on yes. the name of the street. Okay. It is located up. Is there um, any a, any special taxes? No, no, there isn't any. Okay, no, there okay. isn't any. Okay. It is located. Um, are there here? Are there two? Yes. There is. Okay. So are there some stores near your company, ladies? Yes. Yes. No. Okay. Yes, there are, right? And yes, there finish, are. And we finish. Thank you, ladies, with Marlene and Rudy. Thank you so Hello. much, Jeanette. Okay. Hello, Rudy. Where do you work? I think that's clever. <laughs> I work at Supertex, and you? I work at Colegio Bautista San Salvador. Where is your company located at? It is located on Panamericana Street, on Industrial Zone, Chalchuapa. Where is your company located at? It is located on Cuba Avenue and Cocal Avenue. Okay. Is there any bookstore near your workplace? Bookstores near your workplace? No, there isn't any bookstore. Are there some stores near your company? Yes, there are Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Marlene and Rudy. Very good. And let's see. Sorry, I forgot some a point. Let me see. Okay, well, thank you so much, guys. So very good. So keep that work going. So remember, as much as you practice, so as much as you're going to learn about, a, well, about English. Let's see, uh, it's time to get up this class. So we're going to start with this. Can you see the blue screen? So can you see that? Ah, okay, so yes, I have an observation for the previous activity. Solo una observación para la actividad anterior. 
Um, bueno, como son nombres propios, permítanme ahí solamente el microfonito, no sé dónde se escucha. Ok. Recuerden que cuando son nombres propios no los traducimos. Eh, por ejemplo, el nombre de la empresa, el nombre de la persona, también, bueno, hay nombres que tienen traducción, podemos utilizarlos, pero el nombre original pues es el, tal cual como estaría establecido por, en un registro. Y también, eh, bueno, los nombres de las calles no los cambiamos. Y, eh, ¿Qué otra observación era? Ok, teníamos ahí mencionaba eh, alguien que trabaja para la agencia de viajes Bonilla. Eh, sería Travel Agency. Sí, no me acuerdo cómo es que nos dijo ahí. Agencia de Viajes Bonilla. Travel Agency Bonilla. Ok, sí tiene una interpretación acá en inglés, es válida. Travel Agency Bonilla se, se entiende, pero no se pierde el significado, eh, la esencia del nombre. Entonces, si ya si nosotros hacemos, queremos hacer otra adaptación. Eh, sí podríamos correr el riesgo de indicar otra cosa y por lo tanto, pues, eh, no, ¿verdad? No, no utilizaríamos ni optaríamos por cambiar eso, aparte de que son nombres propios. Pero en ese caso sí, bueno, es, se podría, digamos, podremos utilizarlo así, porque así, digamos, se entiende, se comprende, y no pierde la esencia, no pierde su, su nombre. Sin embargo, sí, sí ahí este, igual... Eh, con las calles, eso pasa con las calles, o si queremos traducir este, algunos nombres de municipios o departamentos, no lo hagan, ok? So that's all. So let's continue. Um, let's see, we're going to divide the teams again. We have, uh, let's see, Nailea, Claudia, Concepción, Emerson, uh, Marlene, Team One, Fatima, Flor, Gerson, Janet, Leticia, uh, Melissa, and... Well, let's see. Uh, yeah, Melissa, team two. Rudy, team one. And Oscar, team two. Sarah, team one. And Wilbur, team two. Okay. So now let's start. Team one, please pick a number. Team one. So remember, you have to select, um, well, in this case, you have to select a column and um, a line. Tienen que elegir una columna y una línea. So if you want to uh, win 100 points, so you select this line. First line, second line, 200 points. Uh, th uh, the third line, 300 points. 400 and 500. So if you want to win 500, you select a column, one line. Let's say one, two, three, four, five. So column one. Line five, and I pick, and I am going to show you that the question or that sentence. Okay. okay. Recuerden, ustedes van diciendo los scores that you want to win. Let's see, T1, please pick a number, a column number, and a line. Under 100. 100, okay. Column oh, one. Column one. Okay. For 100, for, let's say, for 100 puntos. So what's the correct answer we have? There is, there are? There is one apple in the basket. One apple. Okay, apple. there is one, one apple. Apple. Let's see, let's continue. Team two, go ahead. So you can pick uh, the number that you want, the percentage. Team two, 100 or 500. Column, column five, nine, five. Excellent. Okay. So, what's the correct phrase? There is or there are? Um, there are. There are many computers yeah. in my. Many computers in my school. Okay. Awesome. So, 500 points. Let's see. Team one. Select a column. Team one. One light. Bye. Bye. Nice, Marlene. You got the idea. Let's see. Many books in the restaurant's buffet. There are. There are. There are many, many fruits in the restaurant buffet. Okay. 
Okay, so you got 600, team two, go ahead, team two. So remember the level of difficulty will probably vary. Column, Let's see, team two. Column three. Column number. Line five. <laughs> oh, yeah, column three, line five. Let's see. There is. There is one restaurant in my city. There is. Excellent, Leticia. There is one restaurant in my city. Team two, right? Team one. <laughs> team two. Team <laughs> one. Okay, <laughs> team one. So be, be careful. <laughs> team one. <laughs> Column four, life five. Okay, awesome. Is it correct or incorrect? There is a lot, a lot of houses. House. In, in, there are incorrect. Correct. There are a lot, a lot of house. Okay, so that's wrong. Yeah, wrong. So it's incorrect. Wrong. Okay, team one, right? Yes. Wow, one hundred. It's the difference. Let's see, team two. Come on, team. Team two. Vamos a ver los del equipo dos. You falling asleep? Man, it's Friday, and tomorrow you're going to sleep the whole day. Yeah, mañana. Column two, lunch five. Okay. Column two, lunch five. Line five. Okay. There are. Is it correct or incorrect? Five, four. Wrong. 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 Incorrect. Incorrect. Okay, so that's wrong. Team two, right? Or team one? Team two. Team okay. Two. Said, what am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> let's say, let's see, team one, please. Column four. Column four. Okay. Line? Two. Line number? Four. Four, okay, column four, line four. Is it correct or incorrect? There is a, there is a hospital on Chole. Oh, it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. It's correct. Okay, that's right. 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 That's right. Let's see, team two, go ahead. One, two. Okay. Column number one, two, three, four, five. Four. Four. Column four? Yes. Yes. A line. Three. Three. Okay. <laughs> So what is it correct or incorrect? There are a lot of pencils in my pencil case. Pencil case. It's right. 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 Okay. That's right. Correct. So your team number is yes. right. two, right? Yes. Two. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> team one. Ladies, Hello. Tatiana, where are you? Tatiana, Hello. 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 Four. Column two. Me dijo grupo, a mí. Four. ¿A quién, Ana? ¿A quién? Tatiana. A mí no me dijo en qué grupo. Okay. Entonces Sorry. no sé con quién irme. <risa> con el que vaya ganando. Sí, pues sí. Usted el que va ganando. <risa> Venga, okay. sal tú. Team two, uh, yeah. Okay, team one, uh, please. Okay, two, two, line four. Okay, um, two, line four. four. Column two. Yes, line four. Okay, so it's D one. Is it yes. correct or incorrect? Beautiful painting. The five, four, the three, the four, three, four, four, right. There is a beautiful one. painting. Right. 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 Okay, yeah. nice. So 100 point is the difference. Okay, team two. Tatiana, team two. Yes. Column, three. Column one. 
like four. Okay, so complete that. There is a beautiful room. There is a beautiful room. There is a beautiful There is. Okay, awesome. Yes. See, team one. Team one. Column three. Column three. Line four. Line four. Okay. There is a several magazines at this. There are. There are. There are. What there is are. the meaning? Several. Muchas. 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 Ah, there mm -hmm. are. There are. There are. Varias, muchas varias. No. Ya no cuenta. Ya no cuenta. Ya había dicho, ya había dicho there is. No, I didn't say there is, there is. There are, there are, there is. No, there are. There are, okay. Se la vamos a pasar. <laughs> thanks, Wilber. Thanks. <laughs> Finish. Next in the next module. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, five. So, 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 Column five. Okay. Five, four. Okay. So, what's the answer? There, there, is. there, there are. There are. There are three libraries. 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 In my city. Libraries. Libraries. Libraries in my city. Libraries. Okay. There you are. Team two, right? Two. No one. <laughs> two, no one. Okay. Team one. Column two. Column two. Life. Life. Three. Three. Okay, team. There are good players in Barcelona, team. There are good. Right. Right. There are good players in Barcelona team, correct or incorrect? Yep. Right or wrong? Correct. Correct. Okay. The, yes. the best thing yes. of the world. Right. Yes. Right. Okay, team two. Hello. Um, five. Line three. Line three. Line three. Okay. Esa, esa es ayuda. Es ayuda. Yes, I see. There are two restaurants next to the park. Next to the park. Okay. Nice. So it's team two, right? No. Yes. One. Yes. <laughs> two. <laughs> so you're kidding. <laughs> Si no me dice, se lo voy a poner al otro equipo. Team one. Column one. Column one, line. line three. Nice. Okay. There, there are many books, many books there are in the library. There are. Library. 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 Okay. Okay, so it's a tie. Team two. Column three. I'm going to, okay, column three. Column three, uh, nine, yeah, three. <laughs> column three, now. Line three. Line three. Okay. So how there about are, this one? Team two. There, there is. 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 Yes. There is. Okay. Okay, so for this, I'm going to check the pronunciation and be careful. <laughs> okay, uh, team one, go ahead. Two. Two. One, two, column. There is a man playing basketball. Right. 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 Okay. So that's right. Awesome. Let's see. Team two. Color three. I two. There are. There are. There are. There are. There are what? There are. There are six roses in the vein. 
Excellent. There are okay. six roses in the bud. So you yeah. say the team, Patu. Yes. <laughs> team number two. One. You have to be careful. Let's see. <laughs> team one. <laughs> Column four. Nice. <laughs> okay. Team two. Team two. Team two. Team two. Right. There are. There are. There are. Right. There are? Yes. Right. Okay. Can you repeat? Can you read the sentence? They there are, are there millions, are millions of, of the fish. fish. Grace at the right. Beach. Okay. Right. Yes. Yeah. Nice. So let's see. Let's continue with the next one. Team two. Choose. Column four, line one. Column four, line Column one. Five, okay. Column five, line two. Line two. one, line one. Line one. <laughs> There is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the answer? There is. There is. There is. There is. Okay. There is. Team number two. One. Right? No, that was two. Let's see. Excellent. Excellent. Team one. <laughs> Column one. Column one. Line, 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 line two. two. There are eight, eight apples, apples in the basket. The basket. There, are. There, there are. There are. There are. Okay, so it's team one. It's a tie. And but it's a tie. Uh, team two. Column five, line two. <laughs> yeah, <they're not> <laughs> <laughs> like okay okay five there, there are, are there are there are, are, are eleven students in my geography class there are eleven students in my geography class okay team one two line one one <laughs> line two is it correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Incorrect. Correct. Incorrect. Okay. Nice. Wrong. 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 <laughs> okay, tenemos la última enda. For okay. let's see, ¿cuántos puntos le ponemos aquí? Le podemos um, 500 points. 1000. 1000 nada. Too much. <laughs> <laughs> a million, you will say. <laughs> yeah, I think a million. <laughs> 500. 500. Yeah. Okay, team uh, two. Nah, si no se vale. <laughs> Somos oh, los que vamos ganando. <laughs> well, let's see. Now, let's see. 550. Yeah. A ver, ¿cuánto ahí haríamos la diferencia? ¿Con cuánto haríamos la diferencia ahí? Sí. No, ya, ya. Por 500. 500. 500. 500. 500. Ok, 500. Ok, team two. ¿De quién era el turno ahorita? La team one. Juan, Juan, del dos. El team dos. one. Team two. Colón, Juan, Juan, Juan. Ok. There is 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 Pero como ya les ayudaron a ellos una vez, hoy ayúdenme. Ok. I remember. No, no points. Sorry, team. Team one. There are. There are. Is wrong. Right. There are. 
Ron, ok. <risa> Increíble empate. Dejémoslo así. <risa> ok, so you were trying to be fast. Well, that was ok. Thank you guys, so now let's continue okay. with the... Ganó Excellent, todo. excellent. <risa> okay, yeah, sorry about the other team. <risa> I didn't expect that. No me lo esperaba yo tampoco. <laughs> okay, so now let's check. Uh, we we'll continue starting, guys, uh, with a new topic. It's about adjectives. And we're going to check some uh, adjectives and something to that. So here we have some vocabulary. Beautiful. So listen up and repeat that with me. Beautiful. Beautiful. Comfortable. 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 Huge. 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 Ugly. Ugly. Dirty. Check that and tell me. So, what is the first adjective? Beautiful. So, what could be beautiful in this picture? The beautiful. flowers. The flowers. Comfortable. The cat. Comfortable. The cat. The cat or the, cat. the sofa? Mm -hmm. The sofa, right? Huge. Huge. The fruit. The fruit. Okay. Could be the mango or this. Ugly. Cat. Actually, this could be huge too, big, right? Enormous. Ugly. So what's ugly? Chucky. Chucky, okay. <laughs> Dirty. The hands. The hands. The hands. And tiny. The girl. This. The hat. The hat. Pequeñito. So that's tiny, beautiful, comfortable, huge. Ugly, dirty, tiny. tiny. Again, beautiful. 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 Comfortable. 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 Huge. 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 Ugly. 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 Dirty. Ugly. Dirty. 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 Tiny. 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 Okay, so right now I'm going to show you a list with some adjectives. And uh, we're going to check the meaning. So we have ancient, ancient, a a ancient, 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 ancient. Okay, historic, historic, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Attractive. attractive, 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 lovely, lovely, lovely. boring. 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 Uninteresting. 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 Interesting. 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 Okay. Over here. Bustling. 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 Crowded. 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 Remember, crowded, 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 Hectic. 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 Okay. Hectic. Hectic. Charming. 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 Nice. Nice. Listen. 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 Fabulous. 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 Great. 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 Marvelous. 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 Fascinating. 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 
captivating. Fascinating. Fascinating. Interesting. 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 Intriguing. 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 Huge. 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 Big. 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 Giant. 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 Large. Large, vast, vibrant, popular, 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 popular. Uh huh. Paseo del Carmen is popular, tropical, tropical, amazing. 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 Awesome. Amazing. Awesome. 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 Incredible. 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 Mysterious. Mysterious. Perfect. 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 So that's perfect. Stormy. Perfect. Stormy. Stormy. Strange. 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 Ugly. Strange. Ugly. 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 Unusual. 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 Peaceful. 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 Tropical, tropical, sensational, sensational, magical, 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 harmonious, harmonious, harmonious. Okay, sunny, sunny, windy, windy, rainy, rainy, noisy, noisy, silent. 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 Quiet. 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 Terrific. 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 Terrific in this case means excellent, right? So that's terrific. For example, terrific. You're, you are terrific students. <laughs> so you're excellent yes, yes. students. Unique. Yes. Unique. 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 Wild. 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 Yes, Wild. When, when we play, when you play. <laughs> Wild, 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 terrific, unique, wild, wild, traditional, traditional, harmonious, harmonious, romantic, romantic, and mystical, mystical, mystical. Okay, nice. So take a screenshot or a picture. Okay, so you get the picture? Yes? Yes. No. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. yes. So you can use these uh, adjectives in order to describe your workplace. For example, I have terrific colleagues, but terrific, it's a positive adjective, right? Ahí cuando se llama yeah. terrific, estamos hablando de un adjetivo que indica excelencia. Positive adjectives and negative adjectives. For example, look at this. You can show your perspective about something uh, through the usage of some adjectives that have a positive meaning or adjectives that have a negative meaning. Entonces tenemos adjetivos que tienen un significado positivo y otro un poco negativo. For example, there are comfortable rooms. There are comfortable rooms. Repeat that with me. There are comfortable rooms. There, there are, are comfortable, comfortable rooms. rooms. There is rooms. a huge parking lot. 
There is a cute parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There are there are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. There is an illuminated training room. Illuminated. It illuminated. Training room. Training room. Now let's check the negatives. There is a narrow reception area. Narrow, narrow. Yeah. There is narrow. a narrow reception narrow. area. So the meaning for narrow means a small place where you pass your stretch. So that's narrow. There are small offices. There are, there are small, small offices. offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There are disgusting area. 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 Disgusting. What's the meaning? Disgusting. Disgusting. Desagradable, right? So, disgusting. Disgusting. Desagradable. Uh, there is a smelly living room. There is a smelly, there is a smelly living room. Mm -hmm. un, smelly. Hay una sala smelly. So what's that? Smelly. I was painting. Malo For example, smelly living room. Malo liente. Malo liente. Okay. So and now um, we're going to check the following. Look at this. So what is the structure that we use with adjectives? Okay. So look at this. So we use these adjectives in order to describe. So what do you think that, what do you think about it? What can we describe with adjectives? We can describe nouns, people, animals, what else? Places. Places and. Objects. Okay. Person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have people. And. Uh -huh. And we have to, uh, well, we have a structure to follow. Adjectives can be before a noun. For example, Paul's. Paul. Small hat. Paul's small hat. ¿Cómo es el sombrero de Paul? Pequeño. Entonces, so look at this. So we have a determiner. Tenemos un determiner aquí, un determinante. So then you possessive. have an adjective. Ajá, un determinante posesivo. So we have Paul, determinante posesivo. Entonces los determinantes pueden ser un determinante posesivo, también podría ser eh, this, that, un determinante demostrativo, this, big, machine, is and working, for example. Esta gran máquina no está funcionando. Oh, this big washing machine, let's say, isn't working. Look at this, we have the adjective plus adjective plus a noun. So this is the structure. This is one of the structures that we use. This is one of the structures. The terminal again, plus adjective, second example, so what's the adjective? Big, right? Adjective. Y we also have a second adjective here. Acá tenemos otro adjetivo. Washing machine. Washing, it's an adjective. Porque nos está indicando el propósito de la máquina. Para lavar. Un adjetivo que indica propósito. So adjective. Pero en este caso, en este, en este ejemplo tenemos dos adjetivos antes del noun. El día lunes espero que podamos ver todas las clasificaciones que tenemos de los adjetivos. Tenemos un orden. So, um, in noun, and you have the rest of the sentence, right? So, the terminal, adjective, plus noun. Esa sería nuestra estructura. El primer ejemplo podemos tomarlo como la, nuestra estructura base. Podemos agregar más adjetivos. En este caso agregamos dos y podríamos agregar hasta nueve adjetivos. But commonly, we only add like Two or three, right? And just to describe something. Solamente solo utilizamos como dos o tres para describir algo. But if you're a seller, you probably will use the 
Bueno, la whole list, the big list. Entonces, si usted vende algo, si está ofreciendo algo, probablemente ocupe más de dos o tres, right? But that's not kind of common, pero no es muy común. And adjectives, number three. Uh, vámonos al punto número tres. Adjectives can be after verb to be. For example, it is a huge what? Mango. Mango. It is a nice place. It is a big restaurant. So adjectives can be after verb to be. Ahí tenemos el tercero. So you have a subject, let's say, plus to be, plus be, plus Compliment. adjective, plus, okay. Compliment. And that's part of the complement. It is a huge mango. How is the mango? Huge. Entonces, ahí tenemos la otra estructura, que es sujeto, eh, verbo to be, y un adjetivo. It is a nice place. So, what's the adjective here? Nice. nice. Right? Mm -hmm. About a sentence number three. How is the restaurant? ¿Cómo es el restaurante? Grande, right? Grande. Okay, so there you have the two uh, parts. So, there you have the two uh, ways how you will see some uh, adjectives in the sentences. Entonces, esas serían las dos estructuras que manejaríamos. El día lunes espero que veamos eh, todos los adjetivos, todo el, el orden de los adjetivos. Ahora solamente vemos la estructura base. Okay, so take a screenshot. ¿Ya le tomaron una foto? Yes. 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 Okay, nice. So now let's see some examples. So let's try to order these examples. Small gym. So let's write that with there is and there are. There is. There is. A small gym. Gym. Okay. So what's the adjective? No. Small. Small. And the noun? Gym. Gym. Okay. Number two. There is. There, there are. Is, there are. Perdón, there, there are. are. Uh, new training room. New, okay. Training new rooms. Room. What's the adjective? Training. 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 New. New. Okay. Yes. You you for you remember that training too. Salones de o salas de entrenamiento. Entonces ahí tenemos dos. There are new training rooms. También tienen el new. Nuevos. Nuevos salones de entrenamiento. Okay, number two again. Number three. In cafeterias. There are green uh, cafeterias. 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 Okay. Number four. So what's the adjective in that one? Clean, right? There is. Four. There is. There is a smart meeting room. Smart meeting room. Meeting room. Awesome. Number five, unpleasant um, bathrooms. There are. There are. There are unpleasant um, bathrooms. 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 Okay. And number six and last one, tiny cubicle. There is. Tiny. 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 Awesome. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Ya lo copian. Ya lo copian. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, ladies.
Ok, lo que vamos a hacer es les voy a compartir los ejercicios para que practiquen este fin de semana. Y okay. nada más aviso, el lunes terminamos. Me parece que vamos a tener unos días más activos de la plataforma. Un día, probablemente o dos. Nada más para que se pongan al día. Y si lo pueden hacer este fin de semana, pónganse al día este fin de semana. A ver, si hay alguna pregunta de la plataforma, eh, me avisan para apoyarles y también veamos, eh, bueno, no falten el lunes en nuestra última clase, así que no, no falten. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta, chicos. Chicas. Sí, no, no, el siguiente. No, vale, la Hola, ¿Qué ¿Qué le Usted va a ser la misma maestra del siguiente módulo. No, no creo, no estoy segura. ¿Qué? No estoy muy seguro, no creo. <risa> Wilber. <risa> Veo lágrimas. <risa> Dolor, sí, de pain. <risa> más, que, más que hasta el otro, hasta el otro año. Sí, okay, sí, vamos a esperar hasta el otro año. Envíen la documentación, por cierto. Y pónganse al día con lo de la plataforma. Si les falta alguna actividad okay. pendiente. Recuerden el examen medio, ya tiene que estar terminado. Ya para el, solamente esperar este, los diplomas. No sé cuándo se los va a dar, pero, pero si todo sale bien y tenemos ahí todos los requisitos, pues le va a llegar en algún momento. <ríe> Gracias por la esperanza. Ok. Sí, pero no, es que no, usualmente siempre lo roto. Que lo roto para que lo no Vamos a hacer la solicitud. Ok, ahí en los comentarios Exacto. lo ponen cuando llenen la, la encuesta. Ya, ya la revisé y no aparecía su nombre. No aparece mi nombre. No, no aparece no. como 40 menos usted. No, no la pudimos. Ya. Bueno, yo no, no la pudimos. No, pero eh, ya les enviaron la encuesta. Yo sí, vi uno que les habían enviado, pero era de... La enviaron, pero no aparecía ahí su nombre. Vamos a consultar. Busqué, busqué entre todos y no estaba. No, este, bueno. Ah, sí, sí, ya lo encontré. Present, 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 Ok, bueno. Para que lo escuchemos que está en la fiesta. Teacher. Hello, Leonel. Ya dijo presente. Leonel. Ok, Leonel. Sigo bailando. Eric Emerson, Emerson Leonardo Tobar. Presente. Ok, thank you. Eric Emerson Mengíbar. Evelyn Marlene Guevara García. Present. Thank you, Marlene. Fátima Beatriz Franco Marín. Present. Thank you, Fátima. Gerson Enoch Bonilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Gerson. Karim Janet Martínez. Present. Thank you, Karim. Leonel Gustavo Funes, ya nos dijo present. Um, <laughs> María Leticia Relegueño. <laughs> Present teacher. Thank you, Leticia. Melissa Stephanie Hernández. Present teacher. Nailea Isamar García. Present teacher. Thank you, Nailea. Olga Tatiana Portillo Miranda. Presente. Thank you, Tatiana. Oscar Alberto Aguilar. Rudy Alexander Asensio González. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Rudy. Sara Noemí Jiménez Martín. Jiménez, ¿qué yeah. Presente. Oh, yeah, me Se casó, van a decir en la casa. <ríe> Wilber Francisco Javier. Presente, teacher. 
Javier Martínez, Elsia Martínez, Javier Ernesto López Mendoza. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. And let's see. Okay, bien. Si alguien tiene una pregunta, se puede quedar um, para que podamos apoyarle con alguna duda de la plataforma o de, de algún tema. Okay, so that's all for today, guys. Thank you, Melissa. Sí, Melissa, ya. Ya le tomo. Okay, so have a great night, guys. I see you on Monday. Nos vemos el lunes. Tenemos una clase pendiente. Okay. See you on Monday. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. Have a bye great bye. day. Good night. Good night. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Floor. Thank you. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye.